Hello, and welcome to Deerstream English. My name is Louis. This is part two in a video series, which is going to be showing common business expressions. So without further ado, let's begin. The first expression we're going to talk about today is blue collar. A blue collar worker is someone who works with his hands. These jobs include construction, manufacturing, maintenance. We call this type of worker a blue collar worker. Okay. The opposite of blue collar is somebody who works in an office, or maybe you could say they work with their head or they work with numbers. It is white collar. So we have two kinds of workers, white collar and blue collar. Now, we cannot say that one is better than the other, okay? They're just different, and we have different expressions to talk about them. So uh, let me give you an example. Um, I could say, uh, everybody in my family is a blue collar worker. They're either electricians or manufacturers or factory workers. They're all blue collar. Okay, expression number two, by the book. So to do things by the book means to do things according to the company policy or according to the law. So you're doing things according to the book. You read all the rules in the book and then you follow these rules in practice. So an example of by the book is to say, I'm sorry, but at our company, we always do things by the book. So I'm not interested in your experimental techniques. That's just an example, okay? To do things by the book. Uh, for me, I'm not really a by the book person. I don't 100% follow things by the book. Uh, what about you? Are you a by the book person or are you more of a free spirit experimental person? Number three, call it a day. So, oh, what time is it? It's five o'clock. Let's call it a day. Let's go home. That means to stop working for the day. Example, well, John, it's five o'clock. Let's call it a day and go home. Number four, to catch someone off guard. This is really common, okay? To catch someone off guard. It means to surprise someone by doing something that he or she was not expecting. It's a surprise. Somebody surprises me. They bring me a lunch. I say, wow, you brought me a free lunch? I was really caught off guard. Or we could say when the stock market crashed, our company was caught off guard. We did not know. We did not expect this to happen. Ah, to cave or to cave in. A phrasal verb, to cave in. This means to agree to something that you did not want previously. Five minutes ago, I did not agree, but now I agree. That means I have caved in. Ah, he caved in. The employees complained about the change in policy, but the supervisor refused to cave in. What about you? Can you think of a time when you caved in on something? A change of pace. A change of pace is when you do something that's different from your normal routine or schedule. Um, you could say, I've been working 12 hours every day for the past week. I really need a change of pace. Another example, it's nice to go on business trips because it is a change of pace. Sometimes you get tired of the repetition and you need a change of pace. Number seven, to come up short. To come up short means to try to achieve something, but to fail. I've been trying so hard to meet my goal, but I always come up short. We often say someone has come up short when they fail to achieve a goal, but not completely. They did a lot of the work, but they did not do the top. They came up short. An example. The charity fundraiser was supposed to raise $3 million, but we came up short. We only raised $2 million. We came up short. We were $1 million short. Okay, number eight, corner a market. 
To corner a market means to dominate a particular market. So we can say, well, Apple has really cornered the market on MP3 players. Do you remember back in the day, they had these things called iPods? So Apple had cornered the market on MP3 players. Now we could say that, oh, Zoom has cornered the market on company meetings, remote meetings. What other company has cornered the market on something? Okay, to cut corners means to take shortcuts and find an easier or cheaper way to do something. Our company would say, we do not want you to cut corners. You should do everything by the book. Don't find a shortcut. Don't find an easier way. Follow the rules. Don't cut corners. What about you? Do you cut corners or do you go by the book? For me, I'm probably somewhere in the middle. And the last expression for today, cut one's losses. To cut one's losses means to stop doing something because it's unproductive and it won't ever generate results. So this, this uh, business attempt has failed, right? We're not making money. So we need to cut our losses. That company cut their losses. She was making, um, she was making online lectures, but it wasn't working. So she cut her losses. Another example, the advertising campaign was expensive and not showing results. So we cut our losses. Allow me to review the expressions we learned today. Blue collar, buy the book, call it a day, catch someone off guard, to cave in, a change of pace, to come up short, to corner a market, to cut corners, to cut one's losses. So I hope that you learned something today in this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I also have a previous video that I've done on this topic, and I will continue to post more videos in this series. So it's great to see you today. Good luck studying.